as a beginner in After Effects, you want to make some money using your skills in After Effects, right? You're in the right place because today I'm going to show you how to create this simple character animation used in many explainer videos and which is at great demand for companies who are looking for freelancers like you who can make this kind of simple animation. So today we're going to create this and we're starting right now. All right, go to flaticon.com and download this character, which is a PNG image. And let's import this inside Adobe After Effects. So here I am in After Effects. This is the image and I'm going to drag and drop this inside this new composition. And I have a new composition. Let's grab the surrounded rectangle tool, selecting on the image. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to select the neck first. So make sure these, these two points are roughly aligned with the shoulder. In order to see it clearly, you can go to the mask and set this mask to none. And you can see it clearly like that. All right, once you have that, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'll select the other portion of the head like this and if you go to the mask you can turn it back this add so you are selecting the head duplicate the layer and I'm gonna rename this to head and the bottom layer to body okay so I'm gonna turn off the head for now and select the body hit M select the mask and I'm gonna delete that and I'll do the same selection, which is a rounded rectangle tool and zoom in a little bit here. And this time I'm going to do the exact opposite of what we did. So I'll do the lower half, which is the body. I'm going to do something like this, roughly align with the shoulder like this and make it to none. Go and select this rectangle tool. Make sure you're still selecting the body. And I'm going to select the other half of the body, something like this. Okay. And turn this mask back on to head. So you have the body and you have the head. So the whole idea of this animation is to animate the head from left to right. So we are separating the body and the head. Okay. So select the head, select this pen behind tool and we're going to move this pen behind tool just around here because the rotation will happen from this point. So hit R on the keyboard. And if I change this rotation, you can see that set these values to a negative 10. Set a keyframe, go to about one second and to 10. Okay. So if you play it back, you have this. And right now you can see you have a little problem here, which is if you turn off the head, you can see some parts of the neck being shown at the background. So the reason why you have this at the background is that if you go to the body and if you see the mask, which is the green one, which is the mask too, it's on top of this. So you can make drag this down and make it somewhere here at the shoulder and you don't see that. Okay. If you still see this, you can always adjust this mask here. That should remove the background like that. Okay. So you have this animation, but it stops here and you don't have to do it for the rest of the timeline. So it's a very simple expression here. Uh, we're going to add an expression, which is very simple. Hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch and type in loop out, which is this. You can select this and inside quotes, you write in ping pong. So it's there and click it away and the, the animation will repeat like this. But the problem now is that the keyframes are not smooth. So select all these keyframes, hit F9 for easy ease. And if you play it back, see that 
you have a very smooth animation. All right, let's move forward and make this character turn into a lively, you know, character by adding some eye blinks, okay? So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this pen tool uh, with no stroke and I can pick a white color for now and move the time indicator where the head is straight somewhere here and I'm gonna draw a line here hold on shift and here okay maybe the stroke is eight okay that's fine and if I rename this blink all right so collapse this go to the contents shape and go to stroke and change this from butt cap to round cap and I'm gonna duplicate this shape okay control D to duplicate it and go to the transform and I'm gonna change the position to the right side which is somewhere here okay and one more thing I'm gonna add is that selecting on this blink layer select this rectangle tool with no stroke and I'm gonna select a color of the skin hit OK make sure you you are in this layer and draw something like this and here inside the contents drag this rectangle one at the bottom of all the layers and shape one and two we don't need any fill and a stroke of this color and if I play it back now you can see it's static it's still there so we're gonna link this layer to the head okay so pick whip to the head and you can see that it's linked there okay so we're gonna go somewhere here and select this layer and trim this off by holding down alt and close square bracket and I'm gonna move it somewhere here and if I play back see that can make it short see the eye blink duplicate and you can just randomly place it in the scene like this or make it even shorter like this okay randomly you know you can just duplicate and place it randomly in the scene something like that if you play it back now you can see that the character is more lively like this okay so let's create a new composition and main comp hit ok and I'm gonna drag this boy inside that comp and create a new solid which is the background BG hit ok move it below all the layers and you have this animation and you can animate this boy and place it and size it anywhere you want the animation will still remain the same so for instance i'm gonna animate this boy from you know coming from from the you know top so this f9 something like that okay and if you want to learn more on this you can comment down below make sure to check out this video as well thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care